Hello. Oh, it is live. Okay. Let's see if we can see it. All right. Let's see if we can see this on YouTube. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, it's from probably the viewer. Can you hear me? Hopefully people can hear me. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. All right, that's all good is um marcus did he get that i sent him hopefully he did there's three viewers that's good That's all we do. Oh, hey. Hey. I was just going to send you the email. And there you are. Okay. It out. Yeah, I, I, I know it's always a little bit tough, a little bit uh, touchy in the beginning. I've done this enough that usually we work it out. But um, we so perfect. Yeah. It should be. I think um, I'm trying to see if there's. I know that there are some people on. I was going to see if anything is going on in the chat room, see if I can see who's on, because sometimes I can. <laughs> but uh, um, let's see. Watching that. Yeah, that's good. All right. She had like a bit of a family reunion one night. So we can go back. Um, watch some fights. Some fight night. Nice. So that was exciting for me. She came in. Wasn't there some night. big fight that you're going to miss or something? Like a wedding? Yeah, the big fight. McGregor and uh, Mayweather. And she, her friends got a wedding that night. Big band. So, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> there you guys are. Now I can see both of you. So that's great. And we are streaming. Okay, I think there's the live chat. Okay, mm -hmm. now we'll be able to see. Okay, so there is. Okay, good. So, there, so hi Denise, I see you. I see there's one person on. She's saying I can hear you because I was doing a test to make sure that I could be heard. And so, anyway, nice to see. Nice to see you guys. Hey. Hello, nice to see you. <laughs> and of course, I'm for like with Marcus. I I've. I've chatted with Marcus several times now, so that's that's really yeah. good. Yeah, move on. And uh, Tiga, it's the first time I've gotten to see you, so that's yeah, nice. Great. To virtually meet you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so nice that you all could join us. Um, and <laughs> so, so we there might be people that'll join us um, as time goes on, and there might be questions, and I'll kind of try to try to watch watch out for that. Um, and so are you you guys i'm assuming are in vancouver somewhere is that right yes yeah yeah 
Okay. And I'm in Yelm, Washington. That's where I am. So I'm out, I'm out in the middle of the country in Washington, kind of Western Washington. So not too far from you guys. Nice. Mm -hmm. I was in Point Roberts actually this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's lovely. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. And so, so at least we do have one very dedicated viewer right now. And she is saying she's really excited to see somewhere in the vineyard um, on, on, uh, Saturday. That'll be for us who are <laughs> who are in, who, who have Hallmark channel. So, so for those who are joining us now and those who are joining us later, uh, my name is Ruth Hill, and I am going to be interviewing. We have two stars from uh, Hallmark's Hallmark Channel's movie that's coming up this Saturday, and we have Marcus Rosner and Tegan Moss. Nice yeah. to see you guys. Very nice to see you. All right. Well, Marcus, of course, the Hardys absolutely love Marcus. I, don't know. I, have, heard, I have heard nothing but tell him how much we love him. We love following his career. We didn't like how he acted always when he was on When Calls the Heart season two. We didn't like his character, but we love him. Yeah. And so they still are very, very supportive of you guys. <laughs> That's that's great, um, and so we're very familiar with you. And of course, the burning question is: Is it possible that Marcus's character is finally going to get the girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think it's very possible. I don't think that's any big secret. So I think I can say that. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I think this is the the time we break through that glass ceiling. So. <laughs> That's good. I, I, actually, I actually was reading today, uh, there was an interview that had been posted actually on It's a Wonderful Movie Blogspot. Maybe you, you guys have heard of that particular mm -hmm. blog. Um, yeah, yeah I Twitter. read it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Right. And so I was reading that and I noticed that the screenwriter, whom I love, Julie Sherman Wolf, I love her. I've interviewed her a couple times. Um, I was reading what she said and she said that she made a promise to Marcus and after the birthday wish, because for those of us who have Hallmark, we got to see Marcus in the birthday wish and he wasn't a very nice guy. Rarely am. <laughs> right. And, and so it was really great. She made this promise. I remember she actually tweeted it out and she wouldn't say what the promise was, but I think we all could kind of guess. We were hoping that this time Marcus might get the girl. Yeah, as soon as I, uh, as soon as they they called me about doing the uh, the second one of these um, vineyard movies, she emailed me, and she's like, "I told you, I promised you, I'd be the person to write the the home movie where you get the girl." And <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was adorable, and it was very uh, very sweet of her, and she definitely did. She wrote me some really good scenes, and I think they're gonna be uh, I think they're gonna be good. Yeah. Well, good. I am glad. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm. Had this. I had, I had a pop-up on my computer. Sorry, I was taking care of that. It, the computer wanted me. The computer wanted me to restart, and it's like, no, we're not doing yeah. that. <laughs> so, uh, well, I do know that Hardys are super excited that there's that prospect of you finally getting the girl. Um, Denise is on here, extremely excited. Uh, she's <laughs> right now the only one chatting, but I so appreciate Denise. She is a massive supporty, supporter, massive party. And she does a lot, a lot to promote the Hallmark stuff. So I know she is very excited, and I'm sure she speaks for all the Hardys that we are all very, very excited. So, <laughs> so that is that's good news. That is good news because I remember Marcus in the last interview we did that they were saying that they want that they really wanted to give you a role um, that would be. Um, I think I think it was something about when you joined when you did on in the vineyard last year that yeah. they wanted to give you a role that really was was a good role for you they're looking for the right role for you and they felt like they finally found it when they when they gave you autumn in the vineyard if I remember right yeah it was funny I do these Hallmark movies and I always play the snobby rich guy and that is kind of the opposite of of me I think I don't think I'm much of a snob. No. You're all right. I can see. No, 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 no. So I think I think this character Marco is sort of in, 
in me too. It's sort of uh, as close to me as, as any of these characters I've had the chance to play on Hallmark. So, so Andrew, well, well, that is, which is accurate. So, right. right. <laughs> Well, that's good news for us. Uh, now, Tegan, it was really exciting. I was looking through your credits because I thought, I knew I recognized your name, and I thought, why do I recognize your name? And when I saw November Christmas in your credits, that is like a big movie. Our whole family really enjoys that film. Oh, it was a lovely film. Lovely film, based on a true story. So it was, it was a wonderful experience to film. Right. Yeah. Right. And I, and I think, if I remember right, that that was the last film that you did for Hallmark. Well, actually, I so I took a long break. I just took a almost six year break. I lived abroad. I got married, had babies, did that whole thing. So um, now I'm back, and I actually filmed um, Garage Sale Mystery, which will be coming out the day after this one. Um, so I filmed that one right before this, so. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> well, well, that's really exciting because the Hardys, of course, uh, I, I didn't, didn't know that you were gonna be in the next Garage Sale Mystery. I'm actually getting ready to uh, preview that, as a matter of fact. I got sent a link so I can, I can preview that. So, so you're in the one Murder by Text, is that Murder right? By text, yeah. And I actually filmed with my brother Jesse, which was the sixth time we filmed together, which was really fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tegan, I, I I would like to know, and I'm sure the Hallmark viewers would like to know as well, um, a little bit more about you, about how you got started acting. Marcus is Marcus and I have talked about that, so I figured we didn't need to go over what was going on with Marcus because they can they can see what 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 he has said previously. And well, I've been around the block. <laughs> right, right. But, but Tika, if you could tell us some of your story, I think that'd be great. Yeah, sure. So I started when I was six, so long time ago. Um, I started because my brother started, and I used to go to auditions with him, and you know, there's lots of kids my age, and I thought hey, sounds like fun. So I went on my first commercial audition and I booked it and then I started working a lot. I The first movie I did was Look Who's Talking Now with John Travolta and Christy Alley. And yeah, I, I had a part in Little Women, which mostly got cut out, but it was still really fun to do. And yeah, look who's. Um, but it was, it was super fun. It was like, I worked a lot in my childhood and it was, so amazing like I didn't know it was work at all of course like it was just the most amazing hobby still is to me you know I just like can't believe this is what we can do for a living because it's so much fun and as a kid especially it's like it's all make-believe right and you get to dress up and there was a craft service table with candy and, I mean it was That's it was so amazing. much fun yeah I know right is why chocolate every day what <laughs> um yeah so it was I just started working all all my life and then I took a little break when I went to university and missed it a lot and got back into it and then worked again until I moved abroad with my husband and I was living in Indonesia, Abu Dhabi and Dubai so couldn't work out there <laughs> and then I had my babies and I came home and I finally got to get back to my career which was fantastic. Now it's Tegan Moss weekend on Hallmark. Yes, no, you might get sick of this day. <laughs> No, I, I do not think we're gonna get sick of seeing. <laughs> honestly, I don't. No, no. If anything, we'll get sick of seeing Marcus, right? I mean, well, they have gotten sick. Yeah, right, 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 right. We're, we're, we're certainly not gonna get sick of Tegan because <laughs> no. he is this, well, he is so sweet and plays these nice roles, and so. Well, we'll see. Crash the mystery. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. 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 She's gonna destroy my image of her. Uh, well, you just have to watch, find out. <laughs> <You're bad. laughs> so, so you mentioned, uh, Tegan, that um, that you have two kids. I, I I had actually read ahead of time that you were married and you had mm. two kids. And so, how old are your kids? One and three. My three-year-old's turning three actually on Saturday, the day of the movie. Really? So it's a happy day. Oh. Yeah. Just make them watch it. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, at least you know it'd be safe for your kids to watch. But whether it would be 
pique their interest, that might be another thing. Yeah. <laughs> I understand how that goes. I, I actually have a 14 year old, so I, I do understand about, about having kids. So daughter yeah. or son? Yeah. I have a I have a daughter. She's and she loves the garage sale mysteries. She is a big uh, Lori Loughlin fan and she she likes when calls the heart. Um, it's funny. My mom knows who you are, Marcus, but I always, but she he doesn't know you by name. So I have to go around and say, remember, he's the snobby rich guy. And I'm just, <laughs> I do do that. Uh, she knows exactly who you are. So, uh, yep. It is great. Oh, and by the way, I did want to say, uh, going back to uh, November Christmas, Tegan, um, that that the same the same gal i mean denise she is she is like really awesome and i'm so glad that she's been willing to chat and she's been on here and um she loved november christmas just as much oh. as i think everybody did so lovely great i'll have to still so still one of those films that hallmarks loves to play and they play it like every year at christmas so it's a really touching story so. but but uh, going back to your kids so so tegan how on earth do you uh, juggle everything with having little ones like that. You're married, and I realize you took some time off. But was it was it difficult then to jump back in after this time away? It was definitely different, like different challenges I didn't expect. Because you know, with two kids that age, like even getting ready in the morning and out of the house um, is hard. So when you're trying to prepare for an audition and learn lines or get to work, it's like you really have to plan ahead. But I'm very, very lucky. I'm very close with my family. And I have my in-laws and my mom. They're all amazing grandparents. And they they really chip in and help out a lot. So that saves the day, for sure. That's good. It's good. always good to have family support. I, 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 I live with my parents, so they help out. Even, even with my daughter. My daughter is wonderful. Um, I mean, and, and, and I don't say that just because I'm a mother. I'm honestly saying that, that other people tell me the same thing, and she's a really good student and all that. But my parents are a big help, so I know parents are essential. I think parents, grandparents, whoever you can have to help out with the kids is great, so that's good. Yeah, it's so nice when you're leaving the kids and you have to work and you, know, you feel guilty by leaving them, but when you know they're with their grandparents who give them so much love and really take the time to teach them things, you, you, you feel okay, and it allows me to do what I love to do and know they're in good hands. So it's, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, so this, now this particular film that you two are in, um, Summer in the Vineyard, it's kind of like, I know, a, a, I guess it's, it's a sequel or a second installment of um, a book series, I believe. Isn't that correct? I think that's yep. right. Okay. And um, so for those who enjoyed Autumn in the Vineyard, a lot of the cast came back this time, which is awesome. Of course, Marcus is, is returned. I remember Autumn in the Vineyard very clearly from last year. Um, but what, what do we need to, is there, is it, for those who maybe haven't seen Autumn in the Vineyard or for those who might have forgotten it, is there anything that we need to know as we go into um, seeing Summer of the Vineyard? Is there anything that is it? Does it pick up where we left off, or is it a completely different story? Uh, what would you say about that? You're in it. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? I did remember watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it basically picks up right where the other one left off. Um, and uh, Frankie and Nate are sort of trying to figure out um, how they balance their different uh, personalities and their competitive nature that sort of spurred their relationship to start in the first place. And so this one sort of picks up with them trying to uh, navigate the challenges of starting a Sorrento vineyard. And um, the second one sort of narrows, we, we developed a, uh, like a cast of characters in that first one that sort of embody this nice little town of St. Madeline. And uh, and that was nice, but this one really narrows that cast a little bit, so we can focus a little bit more on um, the storyline between Frankie and Nate and Marco, and now Tegan's character. Um, and so, yeah, it just narrows it down into two storylines, and we kind of see those play out, and a few of the other characters you saw in the first one sort of. Um, are pushed aside for this one so we can kind of develop that family setting. 
can ask for mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of meandering words there. <laughs> All right. So uh, now I know Marcus, you were in it, and of course, um, I know Jeremy Gilbo was in it, and then um, Rachel Lee Cook and Brendan Penny. Those were all they were all the returning people. Tegan, was it difficult for you to jump in since you hadn't hadn't been a part of the first one? Not at all. We hazed her so they were hard. so horrible to me. So mean. <laughs> no, it's been very. Had to carry a bag. It's true. It's it's classic rookie Asian girl, you know. <laughs> no, it was. I was really, really lucky. First of all, the cast was amazing. The crew was amazing. But I also knew a lot of people. Jeremy's a really good friend of mine, um, and Brendan Penny and I have worked together before, and we're longtime friends as well. So that was helpful. And this guy was a little mean. Yeah, but she knew he... more people than I did. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> no. Like I didn't know Jeremy at all from the first one, really, because we had like one or two scenes together. We didn't really have a conversation even. She rolls up and. Her and Jeremy are like old friends, and me and Brendan from working together, and I felt like the outsider. I didn't like it. Yeah, such the outsider. So we're gonna find a new director for a third one. I yeah. Hope you enjoy the time. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, the question that we just asked, though, so Tegan, is your character then new? I'm assuming they. Yeah. They I am. I so I'm Frankie's cousin. So. It's kind of nice because I come and everything's new. I, I don't know much about wine. I don't know much about the town, and I'm meeting people like this guy for the first time. So um, it's it's nice. You kind of get to see everything with Lexi the same way the audience does. So. Yeah, it's true. Nice. Actually, yeah, you are the lens. I am the lens. Yes. Mm. All right. So since we're talking about the film, uh, and you've kind of hinted at some things, is there Anything else that maybe watching out for? Of course, what does the phone have to do? Okay. Um, so, is there anything else that we should be watching out for? Um, something else you can tell us about the storyline? I know you've hinted at some things. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about the story? Um, that without spoiling it, it's going to be very beautiful. They, yeah, they have true, the <laughs> locations. <laughs> the locations that they picked Not this time, there is a lot more um, picturesque locations, and they really brought a lot of the scenery to it, which we, is we spent a lot more time in the Okanagan mm -hmm. this time. Last year, we did two weeks in Vancouver, doing um, a lot smaller sets, a lot of interiors and stuff, and then we did a bunch of our exteriors uh, in the Okanagan for one week, and then this last shoot we did two weeks in the Okanagan and one week in Vancouver, and so and they have drones and everything, and because of that, it's just it's going to be one of the most beautiful movies Hallmark's ever made, yeah. I think. Um, and that was kind of the sentiment around set, and sort of yeah. what everybody was saying. So it was so amazing to we, film in these locations. Like, yeah, was, our green room would be out looking over a vineyard, over the water, and we're like, is this real? <laughs> this is, is yeah, it was incredible. amazing. I was putting up pictures every day. Cause... Oh, oh yeah, I was I was actually remembering that how all this video, this video of pictures that Marcus kept putting on his Instagram every time we turned around, he was, he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that was good. You anything, I was like, look at this beautiful place we are. I figured it'd be nice to it take advantage nice. of it. People Thank really you. felt like they were there. I hope so. That was, <laughs> that was my intent. Oh, yeah, it was very nice. It was nice. But I think it made us think, is is Marcus actually doing any work, or is he just going around and taking video? Yeah, he, he doesn't very very They hard. don't ask a whole lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Um, so... Since you two have done you know, quite a bit, well, I know Marcus has done quite a bit with Hallmark. Um, I th and I think, I'm trying to remember, um, I mean, I, I know Tegan's done some, I don't remember how much. I know I was trying to go through all your credits, but um, at least you guys have done you know, several things with Hallmark. Um, what is it that you guys like about working for Hallmark? Uh, yeah. Um, I really like it because all the scripts are, they're so lovely. Like they all make people feel good and they're really nice, heartwarming stories. So that translates across everything, how the actors feel coming to set, how everybody in the crew feels. There's just like a really nice kind of family feel to actually shooting the film as well as the end product. 
That's what I was going to say. It's very uh, familial. We kind of work with the same directors um, mm -hmm. over and over, and they sort of, there's like, especially with how many films they do up here in Vancouver, you get a lot of like square dancing where you're just mixing up partners every yeah. other movie. And, uh, and it's kind of nice that way because you get to know these people and you work with them again and again. Like Martin Wood, who directed this, I worked with him on, uh, on When Calls the Heart. Um, and then Peter Day Louise, I've worked with a couple of times, who does the Garage Sale Mysteries. Did he mm -hmm. yours? No, Neil Friend. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've worked with him too. Yeah, See, me too. I've worked like, with him before as well. Yeah, yeah I've worked great. with him on Me the Heart. See, they all, yeah. Yeah, I like the directors. I like mm -hmm. that you get to work with these directors over and over. It gives you, yeah. you could see really comfortable and you could see definitely the familiarity that uh, especially Brendan Penny had with uh, with Martin Wood where <laughs> they're able to just give them very blunt direction um, because of that familiarity and there's no, yeah. there's no egos that you need to worry about, so. Yeah. Okay. Now had you two met before this film had you had you guys ever met no we know a lot of the same people we have a lot of yeah, the same we friends discovered that. But her brother jesse um and i have a similar look and so we auditioned for a lot of the same projects um and so i kind of once i knew her last name i was like oh you jesse moss's sister and blah, 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 blah. so that was and then she also knew jeremy and, mm -hmm. and everybody who's ever acted in the movie <laughs> yeah, I mean it's funny because I because I did take such a long break and that's probably why we didn't meet. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. Back in the game. Yeah. Just on the bench for so long. I was just starting my career. <laughs> I didn't act when I was five years old, so it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. I was just taking my nose at that age like every other kid. <laughs> okay. So so I'm um, so did you guys you instantly connected was was it difficult to create chemistry between the two of you well we had because we started out in vancouver we got to film a whole day just us two Filmed yeah that's true that was the second day but yeah. that was more or less the first but that's when we really got to so, yeah. yeah so we spent a full like, was there's like a whole 14 hours of, together which yeah was, which was like the second or third day of shooting and yeah basically the first time that we spent the extended period of time with each other and there's all these a bunch of bakery scenes in the film because Keegan's character is a baker. Pastry chef. Pa sorry. Pastry. Isn't that in the movie? I you said pastry chef. I said, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Um, and so we did all these scenes at this this bakery. And uh, so, yeah, we just got to know each other throughout the course of that day. And she wasn't terrible. So it worked out. Yeah. When he was looking at from his phone. We were, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Wow. Mr. Busy doing all the live Instagram stories. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Marcus has come a long way because he was that one who was I'd be reluctant. I hated it. I yeah, hated yeah. People that posted everything. Oh yeah. Now I've become one of them. <laughs> oh, what has happened to them? <laughs> yeah, because I, I, if I remember right, I think it was I, I think you created your an Instagram account when you were filming was it Firehouse Christmas? Called, uh, Firehouse Christmas, yeah. And they were all on lunch, and um, yeah, they were all Instagramming, and they couldn't tag me, so I created one that day. He was trying to teach me the whole time. Yeah, so I was trying like, to teach her. <laughs> you know, I've been out of it for six years, so I was like, how do you live feed? Yeah. Huh? yeah. I was trying to show you. Yeah, I'll, you, I'll do it one day. Do you retain any of that information? <laughs> some of it. I'm getting better. Yeah. Some days. I'm so busy with my kids. My hands are yeah. full of children. I can't take them. It's real life, and I just have time to kill. Yeah. 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 So, so how are you guys a lot? Are, what are the similarities between you and the character, the characters you're portraying in this film, and then what differences are there? Um. I would say I'm a lot like Lexi because Lexi is very determined to make her own success, to work hard for things that she feels passionate about. So I'm like her in that way. And I also like her in the sense that I'm willing to go to new places and go on new adventures and make things work and figure it out as you go, as all my travels took me and life took me. Um, how am I different? I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is the best actor in that. Yeah. Um. I don't know. How am I not like Lexi? How are you not like Lexi? 
You were very similar. Alexi's like a super girly girl, though. That's true. She's a bit more girly girl. Lots than of pink. Lots of pink. Lots yeah, of pink, yeah, that was one thing we talked about. You lots so pink. much pink. And I know a bit more about wine than Lexi. That's true. That's so <laughs> weird. Yeah. She's like, like, like the only person in the movie that knows about wine. And she character knows the least about wine. It's very <laughs> ironic. Well, I'm getting there. Yeah, you were, you came a long way. I did so many tastings when we were shooting this. We go to one vineyard and I do a tasting there. We go to another. We actually did a whole day of tasting yeah. one day. I, I learned so much about wine. I mean, promptly forgot it for the after. But I've been I've been drinking wine. Yeah, yeah, came a long way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that, that's Marcus's turn. Oh, yeah. to ask the question. What was that? Sorry? Now, now, it's, now it's Marcus's right. turn. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, he likes to be the clown a lot, and I think I do that sometimes. <laughs> so say, no, oh, I mean, no, you're a very serious, serious actor, and you're very... I want to be Sean Penn, but I feel like I'm a little more not that. <laughs> See? I don't see um, Okay, hang on. Let's get back on track here. Well, I, he's fun and I'm fun. Very deep. <laughs> yeah. We're both deep thinkers too. Okay. She's laughing. And, and, and then how are you different? Uh, how are we different? Um, Marco's like really dumb and I'm not that dumb. I don't know. <laughs> Marco's a little bit like he, he he does things that are like you wouldn't do that if you were a person. Okay. All right. Okay. This question was a bust on my head. <laughs> <hand. laughs> <laughs> Forgot my lines. <laughs> Um, now, I've talked with Marcus before about what he likes to do when he's not acting in his free time, and we all know he's kind of boring as far as that goes. You know, we've had, we've had that discussion, and, and it's okay that he's boring because uh, because he, he and I have had discussions about football before, and he knows a lot more about football than I do. I, that, that is true. Next time he talks, he knows he knows a lot about football and who knows and, and basketball and uh, and. All those, all those sports. We viewers right now. <laughs> no, no, we gained a viewer. Oh, okay. we, <laughs> we didn't come here for football. Once I talk about sports, we actually gained a viewer, <laughs> so that's kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, but but I think it's great. Mark, Marcus knows that stuff. It's great. I, I I think it's great that he he does that. And and I actually pay attention to the Dallas Cowboys be, uh, a little bit because because Marcus likes the Dallas. Cowboys. Yeah. Right, suck it in. Thank you. One by one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. So, sometimes I'll be rooting for the Cowboys um, instead of the Seahawks. You know, I'm supposed to be on the side of the Seahawks, and I I'm not always not always so so. Um, but Tegan, wait, what what? I realize you have kids, and I know that that makes it, and, and you're married, and that makes it a little different. You're 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 not the nice the nice uh, free uh, spirit that maybe Marcus is. Um. <laughs> so, uh, it shrinks a little when you have kids. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but what what do you Tegan? What do you? like to do when you have a chance when you have some time to yourself what what kind of things do you like to do um well i definitely when the good weather is is back in vancouver i i love to run i love to run outdoors um and i also when i get a chance i like to stand up paddle um which has been fun this summer and also we've introduced the kids to biking a lot this summer they we've we did both the ones where they're riding along with us and in the little uh, canopy trailer, and they had a blast. So we've been trying to bike as much as we can this summer. So, oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And run around after toddlers. Yeah. Changing diapers yeah. is my hobby. Yeah. Mine too. 
<laughs> that doesn't quite okay. All right. Um, <laughs> um, well, maybe maybe you could uh, you, you should teach Marcus some of these things. I know the first time he ever we ever chatted, he said how he should go out and do all these things outside, and he doesn't. Oh, yeah. so I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I I did say that, and I've made an effort since then. Oh, I went kayaking like two weeks ago. I went bike riding. And I went hike. You know, we are going to go hiking. Yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> kayaking took a lot out of me. I did a bunch of stuff. We played, yeah. We played yeah. softball, actually. I played yeah. softball on her husband's softball. Team. Yeah. And, so, I, and I thought when you said he needs to do more of this, you meant taking care of children. And I did give my child to Marcus for a while. And, yeah, you were cool. Oh, okay. Hey, that's well. Well, that's good because I was actually going to ask if uh, your your kids got to uh, come to set. I was I was wondering about that. It is. Yeah, yeah, they came out to Asayus, and um, it was fun. It's you know, it was it's hard to have them on set because they're loud. They're at the age when they don't know what rolling means. So they came in the morning, and they kind of came in the hair and makeup trailer and met everybody. But they were mostly interested in the chickens that were behind circus there was chickens there were chickens yeah so there they liked that missed out <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. uh, i i guess yeah i guess marcus did miss out that's 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 a shame he looks really sad <laughs> kids should have called me like, marcus, there's chickens. i know we all sorry I'll, I'll tell them next episode <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, that actually does bring up a question is, is you think that there's going to be a possibility of there being more films in this particular series? I think so. I, I mean, we don't know anything, but. It's possible. Yeah, there's a, definitely a possibility. There's more books and we're awesome. And. So there's lots know, of things to do in the video. Hallmark needs movies. So <laughs> we're well, Actually, you know what? Movie. Tegan read the books. We should say that. Or you read, no. no, she read she read <laughs> this book. And she was okay. the only one to do that. So that's good. Um, oh. Yeah. I was on <laughs> Who else read the book? Rachel didn't read the book, did he? I think Martin did. Probably did. Oh yeah, Martin probably read the book. Martin has to read the book. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um oh. The question is being asked, let's see, Denise is asking, did they have any scenes with the llama? We did didn't. The llama? We didn't. Frankie and Nate did. Yeah. Well, we okay. had to see the llama in the distance, but we didn't get to hang out with him. What's his name? Larry? No, they called him Mittens. Mittens. But his real name, though. What is his real Larry. name? Larry. Larry Dillon? Larry? Oh, Mittens is way better. Larry the Llama, is that, was that the real name? Fairly creative. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, so we, no, I was we actually didn't, very we sad. I didn't get to see the Llama. Uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. So, so you've got, so Marcus not only missed out on the chickens, but he missed out on the oh, Llama. the animals away from me. I don't know why. <laughs> well, you must be doing something right if Tegan would trust you with her kids. So, you know, then. <laughs> They saw me. Seconds. They saw me with the kid, and then they were like, "Keep the animals away from." Okay. You can't be trusted with chickens. <laughs> right, right. Well, now, in, in Marcus's defense, though, I remember um, Firehouse Christmas. He did play an awesome dad. Oh, I'd like to see this. My daughter. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, my my now that's the other movie my mom knows Marcus from. Is I was just talking about it today because I said um, how he got the girl in Firehouse Christmas, but he hasn't gotten the girl yet on Hallmark, and so that's why the hearts are all. Uh, but and and Firehouse Christmas, yeah, it's a wild ride. It is a wild film, but it is. It, but it, honestly, it's cute. It is fun. It is fun. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Well, I, no. don't think I, I don't think I saw that in any in any other reviews. But oh, really? I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. Oh my god, that was cute. It was fun. I, I thought I thought it was great when 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 your character stuck in the chimney. I thought that was a great yeah, part. 
Oh, for like a third of the movie. Definitely want to see this yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch. Yeah. I'll watch November Christmas. You watch Firehouse Christmas. Done. Before that we do the next movie. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you right. No, I'm not gonna rush home. Watch it. Watch it in November. So supportive. No. November. Okay, yeah. you can watch it in November. Or at Christmas. By okay. the there you go. That, well, that, that's good. That's that's nice to see you both supporting each other. You both, you know, it's 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 nice to see that you both seem to get along. Even if the, even if the, as, as you try to claim this is an act, it's nice to see that you know, you're getting along. And I, I I I I know I know, but that's that's okay. I I I, I mean, after all, I I already knew Marcus. I just am Tegan and and. I mean, this is the third time I have talked with Marcus. Yeah, yeah. we see each other messages on Twitter sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, he's yeah. I, I think Marcus is a nice guy because he also um, is very supportive of what I do, and he's he's been known to talk about me out, outside of you know, of of social media. I guess I'd say so. Okay. I appreciate you're the uh, you're the Howard Cassell of Hallmark. Okay, I'll take that. I've 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 been called lots of things. I, I you think somebody you're the main conduit from us Vancouver actors to the Hallmark. Right. And uh, right. Yeah, you're the best at doing what you do. So. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay. Yes. Uh. Yes. And yes. And so. Uh. Yes, Denise, you do need to see Firehouse Christmas. Yes. Um. If you, in fact, if any Hardys have not seen Firehouse Christmas, see if you can look it up. It is worth watching. Honestly, Marx's character is completely different than anything you've ever seen before. Ever. It's, it, yeah, it is good. It is good though. It really is. Thank you. It, it is. It is fun. And 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 if 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 other reviewers were putting it down, I yeah, don't pay attention. They I didn't. No, I didn't see anything <laughs> like that. It was just. I don't think anybody said it was the ride of a lifetime, so I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, do you, now I know you. We have this film coming up, at least for the Hallmark audiences that live in the U.S. I know I'm not sure when it will make it to Canada, but at least this Saturday we have Summer in the Vineyard, so we'll get to see both of you in that, and then of course we'll get to see uh, Tegan in. Garage Cell Mystery, then the next day, Murder by Text. Okay. And so that'll be good. Do you guys have anything else upcoming that you can mention? Yeah. Um. Mm, I have a voiceover thing coming up, but it's still top secret, so I'm not allowed to talk about oh, it. Oh, man. I know. I'm going to hear about that later. But that's coming out in November as well, so I'll have to keep you posted about that. But it's a bit. I um, got uh, Unreal season three coming out in early 2018, uh, which I did with uh, Brennan Elliott, who also does a lot of Hallmark stuff. I saw that uh, you would interview him recently. I, uh, yeah, I read a bit of that. Um, yeah, I do six episodes out of the 10 that they did on the season there. Um, and uh, then I'm doing some ADR for a Lifetime movie I did in January, tomorrow, actually. I'm guessing that'll come out sometime this fall. I did that with a lovely actress named Laura Minnell, who was also on When Calls the Heart. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two cops who are uh, in charge of keeping a, uh, uh, a young girl who witnessed the a murder. Uh, who were in charge of keeping her safe from this killer. Played by Aaron Pearl, I'm assuming he's done some homework as well. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. Mm -hmm. I know I I know I just who did I interview there? Because that was something. Is it like mom, mom cop or something like? Oh, that? Police mom. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's it. I, I, could, I couldn't remember because I interviewed. I've interviewed some other people who are who are in that as well, and so. Um, that's why I was somewhat familiar with it. I thought, oh, he's going to be in that. Because, uh, of course, you had your big role. Um, uh, 
what was that one suburbia so what was the name of that film Infidelity in suburbia uh yeah i did that last year for for lifetime um yeah that was great we did that about a year ago now right before i did uh firehouse christmas right. and it aired in like february or something like that obviously a very different character than i've had the chance to play before which is great yeah. and uh a little more intense than any of the material you get on on hallmark so it was a nice switch up that way and, uh, yeah, I think it turned out all right. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a that was one. Um, a lot of Hardys watched it. A lot of Hallmark people watched it. Yeah, it was intense. It was very different. But I heard a lot of positive things, at least from people that I know, said that they they really enjoyed it. Some people said that it was too scary that they couldn't see that for, to see you like that, and they had a hard time watching it. <laughs> well, I, I, like it, it always amazes me that the Hallmark fans will like travel with you to other networks and to other projects that you do and yeah. I'm just always amazed. I get on Twitter and everyone's so kind and they just they make an effort to actually watch right. other stuff I do and I'm sure other stuff everybody does, all the other actors and yeah, right. well it's really amazing. Yeah. Well and see now that Tegan's back is is that I'm sure that she will get the same kind of thing because it's the Hallmark fans as a whole seem to be very, very supportive of their actors. She's, she's so lovely in this film, too. Yeah. It, you really are, yeah. Oh, like you're just, yeah, you're a nice your little guy. pastry chef. And she's so sweet, and she really brings this, um, just the sweetness to the, the second film, I think, that uh, really balances out the cast nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so someone was asking specifically, Marcus, do you have any Christmas movies coming up? I guess they want to see you in a Christmas movie. No, not yet. Um, they're still doing a few of them for the next couple of months, so maybe we'll see. But nothing, uh, nothing yet this year. You? Not Christmas this year. Movies? No. Not yet. Well, yeah, Tegan's just getting back into it, so I, I can, I can understand that. But it might come. It's, you guys probably know. I'm sure Hallmark has greatly increased. The, their their output this year yeah, very much and yeah. and 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 they even have a new they have I don't know if you guys are aware of the fact there's actually a new channel they're starting a a third channel have you guys heard about that yeah, something like that the drama yeah Hallmark. that's yeah. interesting I read that on Twitter like last week and I thought huh oh, more movies great. yeah yeah that's great that's yeah. And a stream, they're starting the streaming service, and I mean they're cool. they're expanding. Yeah, they're expand. Yeah, they're going to have a subscription service. Um, and I can't remember. They've got the details listed somewhere. I don't remember all the details, but yeah, they'll have a streaming service so people can subscribe yearly and and watch all the Hallmark stuff. And it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, so so they're definitely they're definitely picking up uh, very 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 much. So so okay. Well, I think we have covered everything as far as what I wanted to talk with you guys about. Um, and, I, and I can promise you that people will come and watch this because what happened, what I've discovered with these, not everybody can tune in when it's live. Yeah. But once the recorded, you know, this goes and it, it goes and it's recorded and, and um, then I, I kind of go through and edit, edit out um, yeah, well, we should just edit out Marcus completely, I'm sure. I, I, really, I would like that. I'm going to ask you that later after we get off this. I'm going to ask it. Oh Man, maybe I think. Let's have a screen. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, but you know, basically, I just edit it. I edit out, just make it look so that it's better and, and, and make sure, you know, and then I put it back up and and that way people can watch it and and people still watch it people or people will come to my site and watch it and and so you'll have a chance to watch it and and what's nice is we're doing this early enough since it's tuesday and it's not until saturday we're doing it early enough that it'll get up in plenty of time and people will be watching it and so so that'll be great and um so yeah. so, it is, so go ahead go ahead I was just going to say, yeah, I, I, I mean, whenever I watch one of these things, it's never like live. You always tune in and you'll find it on YouTube after the fact and uh, watch it on your own. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, I think so far, the one that's gotten the, the most traffic has actually been the one that Jeremy and Andrea did together. So I'll have to see. Oh, it. nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we'll have to see if you two can beat that because you know, you know, you never. You know. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm gonna check those numbers. Right, right, right. Well, it was so very, very nice getting to you know getting to see you officially, Marcus. Because uh, I mean, we've just been on the phone, so now I got to see you, and and um, and then getting to meet you, Tegan. That was that was great. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. And so, um, all right. Well, we will, well, I will plan on, and I'm sure that most of the homework people will plan on tuning in on saturday i think it's uh and sunday oh yeah and sunday you're right and sunday definitely yes definitely yeah because we get to we, yeah we get it's it yeah it's taking moss weekend so it's taking moss weekend <laughs> oh, right, right. Wait, we, we, we need to get that trendy we need to get that trendy. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> taking moss weekend. weekend on hallmark we'll have to we'll have to do that <laughs> so so I think that what we will plan on tuning in on both Saturday and Sunday and um, look forward to everything that you guys will be in. And maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can get uh, Tegan to, maybe they'll, they'll put her on one calls the heart or something too. Oh, that would be well, lovely. That's a, that's a matter of time. That would be lovely. That would, that would be amazing. Yeah. Would. Chesapeake Shores would which, be lovely which, because Megan's oh. one of my best friends. She was one of the bridesmaids at my wedding. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chesapeake Shores. Yeah. So then we need to get Marcus on Chesapeake Shores. I think that'd be awesome because a lot of a lot of maybe Lexi and Marcus yeah. just <laughs> Mar travel Lexi, over to Lexi and Marco. <laughs> Marco. Right. Right. Well, you never know. Everybody. A little wine shop. Yeah. Because <laughs> we because we got Marcus on a mystery movie. He was on one of the Fixer Uppers. Uh, mystery. Yeah. Yeah. The first one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he got to do that. Yeah, I actually, I actually thought he was the murderer. I was all prepared. For I him. thought I was the murderer too when I was reading it. I <laughs> right. feel like the last bit. And I, right. I, I right. did this, and then nope. Right. So we'll have to see if Tegan's the murderer on, uh, on Sunday. I don't, I don't know. know. Does this look like a murderer? I, you look like a murderer. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen you kill people. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, that's it. That sounds like quite a story. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, it was lovely talking to you guys, and uh, you have a good rest of your week. Thank you for taking your time, and um, I so appreciate it. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. All right. Well, you guys have a good week, and we look forward to this weekend. Sounds good. All right. Take care. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.